tips to stay motivated. It's important to make active living a part of your daily routine. Active living is not the same as exercising. It's important to limit how much time you spend doing sedentary activity throughout the day. Try to take the stairs more often if you can. Try to park your car farther away from the place you need to visit. You can do some chair exercises during the commercial breaks when you're watching your favorite TV show. You can pace the floor when chatting on the phone with your friends or family. You can try a new active hobby, such as line dancing, water aerobics. Try to combine your social commitments with physical activity. For example, you want to have coffee with a friend. Grab a coffee to go and have a little walk in the park as you're catching up. Try to make exercise an integral part of your daily activities. You want to plan your exercise as you would any other important appointments. Involve your friends and family to exercise with you, as we know that social support can really help you maintain a routine. Try to keep your exercise shoes with you at all time. You'll always be ready for a quick walk. Put your exercise equipment in a location where you will want to exercise, in front of a window, in front of the TV. Try to avoid the darkest corner of your basement. Who wants to exercise there? Plan to exercise earlier in the day rather than later. There's always less chance of something coming up and changing your plans. Establish realistic goals. For example, I would like to walk four times a week, or I want to increase my walk duration to 20 minutes. Realistic is very individual to each and every one of you. It could be as simple as tomorrow, I will put on my exercise shoes and get outside. You don't even have to have an exercise goal in mind. Just getting the shoes on and getting out is your first goal. Add variety to your exercise program. Try something new. Go walk in a different neighborhood. Using a log to track your progress can be very motivating. Nothing fancy is needed. Your calendar, you know, a notebook. You just want to write what you did, how long, how you felt. Reward yourself once you reach your goals. The reward does not have to be very big. It could be getting a fancy coffee, reading a book, getting a massage. Sky is the limit. Planning your exercise program. What type of exercise should you do? It's important to do aerobic exercises, such as walking or biking or swimming. So those are exercises that will use the large muscle groups of the legs, the trunk and the arms for a sustained period of time, at least five to 10 minutes and ideally done daily. You can also use some of the exercise videos that we have on our YouTube site. You can choose a cardio video and repeat it a couple of times and you would get about 20 minutes of cardio activity. Where should you be exercising? Well, you want to make sure you have both indoors and outdoors options. We know our weather can change very quickly, so it's important to have options. At home, you could look into stationary equipment, such as a treadmill or a stationary bike. Um, there is uh, little uh, arm bikes that you can get that you can put on your table, or you could also put that in front of your chair and um, sit and bike while you're watching television. Shopping centers could be a good place to go in a controlled climate or a large box store. Fitness club and community centers often offer options for people to do group activity. Um, uh, you might want to look at to the HeartWise exercise programs available in your community. Uh, those uh, exercise programs are meant for people with chronic conditions 
they encourage warm up and cool down and self monitoring of your exercise intensity. You want to make sure that your activity is close to your home. So look at what's around some walking trails, cycling paths, the stores that are close by. And you might consider a group of walking uh, like minded people like you. It always makes it go by faster when you're talking away um, as you're exercising. So things to consider. You should choose an exercise that you enjoy doing that is safe for you to do and done in a convenient place. Try to avoid picking an activity that will take you 45 minutes to get to um, in the middle of a winter storm. There is no way that this is going to happen. So make sure that it's very convenient and safe for you to do. Setting up SMART goals. This is a way to set goals that will let you see the steps you need to do for you to get the results that you want. A SMART goal is specific, so you have to include details that answers the following questions. What, why, where, when, and who? What do you want to do and why? When and where will you do it? Who will help you reach your goal? It needs to be measurable. You need to know when you've reached your goal. It helps you to see your progress. Is it attainable? Is this goal realistic for you? It's okay to want to improve your fitness, but does it really make sense for you to say, I'm going to be running a 5K? Probably not. Is it relevant? Why is reaching that goal important to you? If you want to improve your fitness because you want to be able to walk when you're golfing, that's relevant to you. If you want to improve your fitness because you'd like to be able to play with your grandkids and not be so short of breath, that's very relevant to you. It needs to be time bound. When will you know if you've succeeded? If there is no end in sight, you never know when your goal has been reached. So an example of a goal could be Within the next three weeks, I will walk for 10 minutes, three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. You could go further and choose the time that these walks will happen. You could also try to involve a friend or family to do these walks with you. But the important here is that it's within the next three weeks. So it gives you some time to try it out, but it's not too long to realize that perhaps your goal was over ambitious. So within three weeks, you will look at your exercise log and see were you able to attain those walks. And if you weren't, look at the reasons why. Maybe the mornings weren't the best choice after all. Maybe it should be after lunch. So look at what happened for you to not be able to reach your goal and then reassess and create a new goal that will be successful for you. We want you to feel success because we know that being successful is highly motivating to keep going.